Okay, so now that we've kind of learned how to use our turtle library, we want to make begin to extend it. And to do that, we're going to have to change the turtle file. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new NetBeans project. So file, new project, Java. I'm a little slow today here. Java application, next. Go ahead and undo the main. We don't want that. And uh, I'm going to call this turtle meth because I'm going to be creating methods now for my turtles. So I'll go ahead and click finish. And then I'll go on over here to my project and go ahead and add the library in. Oops, I want jar folder. Oops, let me cancel that. Sorry. Add jar folder. And again, it comes back up here. So this is book classes. Now, there's one thing we have to worry about here. The turtle class is actually in the book classes. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and modify it there. But what I found more useful is to remove it from the book classes files and then have a separate copy of it because we're going to change it extensively from one project to the next. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I guess really this is only an issue if I ask you to submit stuff because uh, you can simply keep using your library and have a single turtle file in it. What you can't do is you can't have a turtle file here in the project and a turtle file in the library files. Because what will happen then is it won't read the right one. It will read the one in the library files. So in case you want to put the turtle separately like I've explained, I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to do that. Alright, so I'm going to go into the file system. Go ahead and go to my intro prog Java book classes. And uh, if I come on down here, I'll see the turtle. There's the turtle.java. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the turtle class, which is the compiled version of the turtle Java. Then I'm going to copy turtle Java. I'm going to go up here into files, source, and paste it in there. So now the turtle Java file is here in the source. While I'm here, uh, I'll continue with my project. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And notice the turtle Java in the projects uh, view is in my default package. So I'll go ahead and create a new Java main class, which is now up here. If it's not here, again, I'll go to other and find it. And uh, I'm going to call this turtle meth as well and go ahead and click finish okay let's start out by taking a quick look at our turtle file let's see what's there already so there's some notes in there and the big deal here is extend simple turtle so really all the guts of the code are in the simple turtle and only a few methods are here and so you can see that we have uh, where we can create a turtle, specify the X and the Y in within a picture. And uh, we can also do create a turtle, specify the X and the Y in what's called a model display. That turns out to be a world. World inherits from model display. Here's the default turtle for creating in a world without specifying the X and the Y. Uh, here's a turtle that lets you create a turtle within a picture without specifying the X or the Y. And then here's a main method, which just you can use to test the library. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because uh, 
all that'll do is just be a pain. I'll end up running that method when I want to run my main program. Okay? So I'm going to hit Control S to save this. And uh, let's go ahead and start by writing a simple square method. I don't want to keep the video short, so I'll start another video here in a second. So we'll come on down here to the method section. I want this to be public. I'm going to call it square. And I'm going to kind of follow the way that the rest of the uh, library is set up here. And uh, I'll make one version that simply uh, takes no parameters and uses the default forward to do the square. So this will draw a square wherever the uh, turtle already is. Let's go ahead and put our method body in there. There we go. And this needs to be indented. All right, now you should always put a javadoc header in whenever you create one of these things. Uh, that is a method. So I'll start the Java header. NetBeans is pretty cool about that. And uh, method to draw a default 100 by 100 pixel square. Okay. Again, when you move forward, you go 100. All right, the code for this is really simple. Obviously, we simply go uh, forward and uh, in case you're wondering what the turtle is, it's going to be the default turtle that we created. Uh, you could use the this here, this dot forward. Uh, and notice that already NetBeans understands that it's a turtle. So these are all the things that turtles can do that we've seen before. But you don't have to put the this in, and it's usually not put in unless it's needed to disambiguate. So I'm going to go forward, turn right, and then I'm going to do that four times. So instead of uh, copying this code four times, oh, you know what? I forgot to re put a return type in here. So this is void. It doesn't return anything. So public void square. Sorry about that. All right. Oops. Let's uh, go ahead and use the uh, for loop. All right, so for int sides equals four. Oh, sorry, zero. Sorry, sides equals zero. While sides is less than four, sides plus plus. And then uh, I'll need to go ahead and put in the block. Close the block. There we go. So it's going to go forward, turn right, forward, turn right, four times. Okay, let's write a quick program to test our new method. I'll save this. Pop over here to my turtle meth. And uh, again, we're going to do a lot of the same stuff that we do every time. So we'll go ahead and create a world. I seem to be having trouble finding my cursor today. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I got to do something about my prescription here. Alrighty. Alright, so world. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to use Mars today. World Mars equals new world uh, turtle Tom equals new turtle Mars. By the way, you can use a picture there. We'll do that here soon. And then uh, let's go ahead and have Tom do a square. So Tom.square. And notice that comes right up from the NetBeans IntelliSense, which is a pretty good sign that we've got it right. Okay, let's go ahead and run our program. Turtle Meth. Okay. Okay. 
And there's my square, which again uses the default forward, so it's 100 by 100. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And uh, I'll save this video, and we'll come back in a second with the next one here. So just a moment.